channel in today's video we will be seeing how we can create a Gantt chart in latex using overleaf so Gantt chart is usually uh, used to uh, visualize or to track the schedule of your project or in how many days your different milestones can be possible so it is usually given in different weeks and it's very easy to create in latex so we'll see the code how we can uh, make this kind of Gantt chart in uh, latex. So this is the code for this particular uh, Gantt chart. So first we have the document class uh, and the basic packages that is used to define this lines and grids and all those things. Then uh, we have some bar blue uh, then red colors to define different bars and groups and uh, we have the RGB set of values for this in order to define these colors right now uh, I have not colored this uh, Gantt chart it is kept in black and white so yeah so uh, we have the title that is make Gantt chart so that is just this page and the author name and the date so the real work goes here that is on the new page we have a section that is project plan in weeks and uh, we have uh, something written uh, that is this particular Gantt chart represents the projected aspiration of the progress of the proposed concept for the following upcoming weeks after instantiating the project so once you have a project ready that is all team members are uh, committed to their work we usually give out a project plan so usually in reports we have to put this uh, project plan in different weeks and in which end of the week you will have the milestones ready yeah so for this uh, we have this package that is pgf gantt and with the help of this particular uh, package that is pgf gantt uh, will create this gantt chart so we uh, write everything uh, in between uh, begin center and center and we have begin Gantt chart and we first have V grid and H grid that is vertical grid and horizontal grid so that is nothing but uh, this dotted lines which you can see uh, which acts as the canvas for this entire Gantt chart so we first define that and we then have to define for how many weeks so remember the Gantt chart is always created based on the number of weeks so right now we have 17 different weeks uh, that's why we have one that is the start and end is the 17 so first week till the 17th week we will extend our uh, project plan so then we have the Gantt title so it's given as ILMS project plan and uh, November 2021 and then as you can see it automatically uh, creates this structure and you have to give the uh, title list so it is from 1 to 17 uh, you can use as an enumeration so uh, you enumerate from 1 and all the uh, values in between are automatically just populated there and the end one uh, that is the end week that is the uh, week 17 so that's how it just enumerates and create this structure now we have to make this Gantt chart not in a uh, vertical way uh, not in a horizontal way but in a vertical way so that's why we have different steps intermediary steps in between so we'll uh, follow a vertical approach so first we define uh, Gantt group that is group 3 and we have 1 to 17 so uh, this is uh, the name of the group or the name of the project team that you will be uh, assigned to just for an identifier and you can see this uh, black uh, thick bar so that is nothing but as a result of this thing so it's a group uh, that will follow all these steps then uh, we have a Gantt bar that is brainstorming so this is one first bar that is uh, starting right from here and you can see the start and end of this is given as 1 1 so within the first week uh, the brainstorming activity is finalized so following uh, each entries you have to follow uh, backslash and then you have a Gantt linked bar 
so that is nothing but the second uh, objective that is the objective formulation that is it runs from week 2 to week 4 so you can see from week 2 to week 4 we have the objective formulation then uh, we have the proposal documentation uh, from week 4 to week 4 that is nothing but this so as you can see we nowhere define this particular arrow which is connected uh, from the previous uh, step to the next step but it's automatically generated with the help of this particular library that is pgf uh, gantt package then uh, we have the gantt milestone that is proposal submission so that is nothing but the fifth one so this is a separate uh, symbol that you can see it's a diamond which you can see so that represents a gantt milestone okay so milestone is just given only for one particular week it does not extends over a different week but just for only one week so we have only just one number that is five on the fifth week then we have gand linked bar uh, another step that is implementing uh, a module so it starts from week seven to week nine and uh, whenever we want to go to the next line we just apply the command gand new line okay and then similarly all the other modules like implementing material discovery mentoring module means of learning module it's uh, very easy as you can follow uh, it extends over the weeks and you just have to mention over which week this goes and then if you have any milestone like here that is gantt milestone final presentation that is at the uh, very final uh, week that is at the week 17 you have this uh, final presentation also if you have noticed all the milestones have a different uh, text format that is in italics rest all is in uh, normal font and uh, here you just link the elements that is gantt link element 2 to element 3 and gantt link element 3 to element 4 okay so that's how you link uh, these elements here and you just end the gantt chart and you stop creating the diagram okay and then if you need to have some bibliography that goes here from where you uh, obtain some information to create this particular gantt chart okay so well that was all regarding this uh, uh, creating of a gantt chart in latex using overleap so hope you guys enjoyed this video found this video helpful please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing Thanks a lot for your attention.